hello there. Um, this is my first plan with me in my new planner, which is a Hobonichi Cousin. Here I'm just showing off um, one of my favorite things that I did in the Cousin this year, which was to make a year-long um, pain and symptom tracker for chronic illness. I'll put something like this on my Instagram because I didn't really think through showing this off at the beginning of the video when I would inevitably be doing my intro. Um, so hi, I'm Siri, I'm the Craft Barker, and I am uh, just here to do some chill plan with me session. Um, this is my first year in a Hobonichi Cousin, and a lot of people complain about the colors of the Cousin, but I actually really, really love them, as I was showing off to the camera just now. Um, so yeah, come along with me as I set up my Cousin for the new year. I was a bullet journaler before the uh, Hobonichi Cousin, so I've been bullet journaling off and on for many years, but most consistently since the beginning of the pandemic. Um, and I have known for a while that I needed something different. So I was a, oh yeah, I'm pointing that out because I need, I'm going to need to um, change that. Sorry for the shaky camera, by the way. I'm still figuring out my filming situation. And I think while it was aesthetic to do it on the coffee table, I think it's a little unstable. So I need to maybe do it on a, a surface that isn't gonna bounce as much. So I'm so sorry. That's one of my biggest pet peeves when I am, you know, watching Plan With Me's is when the camera shakes. Um, that's migraine life, baby, right there. Anyway, yeah, so what was I talking about? Right, uh, bullet journaling. So I had been bullet journaling for, you know, many years and then I stopped for a long time and then I picked it back up during the pandemic. Uh, a friend of mine actually was like, oh, you should check out YouTube. It's a lot more f fun than just like memes. And like, I definitely, <laughs> It took me until 2020 to really get into YouTube, and one of the first things that I searched for was bullet journaling videos, because I knew there had to be something out there. Um, and I fell in love with it, and I love bullet journaling so much. It really saved me as a small business owner during the pandemic. Um, you know, it really helped me keep my thoughts collected, and it created some beautiful um, pieces for me to work with. Um, <laughs> so here I'm like, I have that how to enjoy a better conversation page up on uh, the screen. And I'm actually, I'm actually making jokes with my spouse, like right now, um, when this was being filmed about how very, like, I don't, there's just something really funny about like, a little article on how to have a better conversation. Anyway, sorry, this voiceover is already all over the place. Anyway, so I realized that I needed to change up my planning style um, when I decided to go on a sabbatical from my business and move into um, more temping. And I'm moving into temping more so than running my own business because my spouse and I are moving across the country next year. And so I just need to have, you know, income that I am very, very secure with and sure of. Oh my God, you're gonna hear me in the moment. Oh, look at how cool that green looks with the orange fountain pen you gave me. Yeah. It's so fucking cool. Gifts on gifts. Gifts on gifts on gifts. We are such absolute dorks anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I um, am moving across the country in, you know, 2023, and so I'm working more so as a temp. Um, and that means that just, you know, what I need out of a planner is really different from what I've needed out of a planner um, as a small business owner. And I really love the Hobonichi plan with me's. 
Um, so I invested in one for the coming year. Here, I'm going to speed this up a bit, um, but I'm essentially creating a graph. So one of the things that I like about the Hobonichi is actually that it has several of the features in the back are things that I would set up for myself as a, a bullet journaler. Um, and they're just kind of set up for me here. So um, here I'm actually setting up a graph of, you know, my, like my savings um, goals for the year. I have both personal and joint savings goals. Um, you know, personal to build a uh, more stable um, emergency fund for myself and maybe for some travel stuff. And then our joint savings account right now is almost entirely for, um, it's almost entirely for just the move. And I want to be able to track that and I want to see like how I'm investing and what I'm investing where. Um... So this graph paper is really handy for that. I know a lot of people will do their weight back here, um, but I really want to get better with my finances. So that's what I'm doing here. And also weight loss is tired. Like let's have better goals in 2023 than to make ourselves smaller and make ourselves feel bad about the food that we eat. Yes. So yeah, so the graph paper is something that I wanted to use um, for this. Um, and there's also that favorites list that I will be using. Um, there's a hundred things list uh, that I'll be using to track my reading. Um, I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Um, and then, you know, the Hobonichi, I love fountain pens. I love... Um, stationary in general and there's so much cool stuff out there that is created specifically for the Hobonichi that I wanted to get in on that. This is my first plan with me and it's kind of a big one. Um, I don't know entirely what I'm doing with this YouTube channel, frankly. Um, I know that I enjoy crafting and that I enjoy, ah, oh, that's very satisfying. Um, I know that I enjoy crafting and I know that I enjoy, um, stationery and stuff like that, but this is just for me. I also really love vlogs, uh, watching vlogs, and I kind of want to get into more making vlogs. Um, but I don't know quite what my style of vlogs is yet. I follow a lot of really incredible vloggers and I'm just not sure what, what I need to do, what I want to do in that space. This is more of like a creative outlet for me than it is me trying to get monetized or anything like that. So here is where I will be, um, doing my, uh, reading, uh, tracking my reading. Um, and I'm tracking it here. I also track it on um, Goodreads and the story graph, but um, I read kind of a lot of fan fiction. <laughs> and I'm really curious if I track, you know, all of the fan fiction alongside all of the uh, regular books that I read in a year, how much I'm actually reading. So I want to track that here. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to fill up all 100. Um, I tried to track both the books that I've read and finished and the fan fiction that I read last year on Notion. For whatever reason, I cannot get myself to actually use Notion. I love the idea of it. Um, there are certain pages in my Notion that I use a lot. Um, but I don't like that I feel like it could disappear at any moment. And there is something that is very important to me about the tactile experience of journaling. Um, that is really essential. I also knew that with this 365 days checkoff sheet that I wanted to use that for something. And I uh, decided that I was going to invest time in my uh, language learning this year. So I'm going to try to um, 
I am going to try to go 365 days on Duolingo. Um, so I am very mercurial and I'm learning a couple of languages on Duolingo. And um, so far this year, I mean, I'm recording this voiceover on the 4th. I have done Duolingo every day of the year so far, um, which is really great. So then, of course, because I was using my stamps before, um, it was really annoying me that I had hand lettered in savings by the grid. But I'm just going to add some decoration, which I will do here. Um, and you'll see. That's the thing is that also setting this up, I know that I'm not um, losing anything. Uh, that's not the right way to say it. I'm not, um, my planner isn't perfect to start out the year. And I know that sometimes people can really struggle with that. Oh, so here I had the frustration that that little GRA at the beginning of that didn't fit. So I am trying to line up this grid washi tape perfectly. And I, I actually got really, really close. So I'm happy about that. But anyway, the planner isn't perfect, and I'm glad that I hit the planner not being perfect at this point in the process. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about this channel. I don't know if this is just a weird little blip or if I'm going to end up truly loving um, doing this and making videos. After this, yeah, I believe it's almost all done. So, okay. But I want to talk about how I'm using those uh, Calendex pages at the beginning of the Hobonichi because a lot of people don't really know how to use those. And, you know, I, uh, people use them as habit trackers. People use them for a lot of different things um, or just, you know, what they are intended for, which is writing in dates that, you know, are coming. But one of my problems with my bullet journal was that um, every month I would set up the same like symptom tracker in my bullet journal, but I would not be able to see them all at once. So I would go to the doctor and I would have all of this really good information to give them about, you know, my health, my pain, um, all of that stuff. But I didn't have, um, I didn't have a like way of really quickly looking over a year's worth of symptoms. And so my answer to that is using the Calendex pages in the Hobonichi. As you can see, um, I have just like my pain on like a one, a zero through 10 scale, my fatigue on a zero through 10 scale, um, whether or not I am menstruating, if I have my period, or um, if I exercise that day. Um, and I might add things to it later, but I feel like in terms of the things that I know that I would like to track over the course of a year, um, that is a pretty good, um, a pretty good differentiation, right? A pretty good amount. Um, yeah. I hope that that is helpful for people. Again, I will put it on my Instagram handle. My Instagram is also Kreiftbrecher for now. Um, I'll put a, a link to that in the, in the uh, notes. So if you enjoy it, if you enjoy my content here, hang out with me on Instagram. That's mostly my personal Instagram, but you know, I also post a lot of planning stuff over there. <laughs> I think right now I'm just double checking that I have done all of the things that I wanted to back here. Um, oh, I remember I'm doing some uh, pen swatching on this how to enjoy better conversation um, because I'm not going to reference that. I have conversations the way I have conversations. I'm in my 30s. 
I'm not, I'm not changing that now. Um, but yeah, so I'm a little annoyed that I did that without even trying to make it straight, but whatever, you know, like we're not perfect. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um, yeah. In terms of a planner system, um, I'm not a person who has a lot of different books that I work with. Um, I am a person that needs to keep track of my, um, you know, day-to-day -day stuff. And I really like The Cousin because I can have so many different views. Oh, I love, so one of the YouTube channels that I discovered this fall was The Coffee Monsters Co. And I really love her channel. It's like so soothing. I don't know what it is about it that is so soothing. Um, but I placed my first order before she closed shop the sec the first time this fall. Um, and I got that gloomy week, uh, specifically to, um, kind of decorate and make fun the week that I will be helping my spouse recover from top surgery. Um, but I don't really do any trackers on a weekly basis, so I figured I would just slap this in here on the month. Um, but it's so cute. I love it so much. What a wonderful way to brighten up, like, a recovery kind of week, or like, you know, I have a, I have fibromyalgia, like, a flare kind of week. Um, great to, great to kind of brighten that up. And it happened to go really well with the, um, uh, Japanese, um, food st sticker, stamp stickers that I'm using here. I have not had the time to fill out either of these trackers, but it feels like I set them up forever ago, and that's just because it's only the 4th of January, <laughs> so I haven't had time to do this. This was actually filmed on um, Christmas Eve, um, and I was so eager once I got my uh, Galen uh, leather folio for Christmas, I was so eager to... Uh, to do this. So yeah, uh, it's been a while, but I have eggnog that I have steamed up and I'm getting back in the mood. Let's just put it that way. because I use this to relax and so um, having plan with me is be in real time feels a bit more relaxing to my somewhat harried brain um, so I hope that you're enjoying this so far there's not much for me to really talk about here other than just you know design process who I am like all of that stuff for this year is to um, spend more time at the gym. Um, I am trying really hard not to um, 
obsessed over that. Um, I am in ED recovery. So that can be a bit of a minefield at times. Um, but I just want to feel better. I want to feel more physically fit. I know that I feel better and actually like weirdly more rested if I have been um, at the gym more. So that's why that is a goal for me. All right. I think it is just about time for me to be doing the... I think I start to plan the week. Yes, I start to plan the weekly after this. So I go a little bit, um, I get a, really excited about the weekly section um, here. Oh, that was, that was a good, when I realized that, that was a good um, cover. Um, anyway, I get really excited about decorating the weekly here. Um, but I did not decorate the first week too much. I mean, I definitely still am doing vertical planning, but not in the same way quite. I, you know, just some, some weeks the decoration is needed and some weeks you just need functionality before decoration. I might, after I finish this voiceover, I might uh, decorate this week a little bit. But yeah, so here first, another first mistake. I have to cover that up. There was actually a massive snowstorm um, leading up to Christmas Eve this year. And so instead of traveling with my parents, I ended up um, just staying in. And instead of having that stitch and bitch session with my friend SJ, um, I ended up uh, rescheduling my uh, Christmas with my parents um, for that time. So that is why I needed to reschedule that. And I had been so eager once I realized I had things for this week that I could put in my planner. I had been so eager to just get that process started that I, I did and then plans change. But this is the beauty of stickers. And um, you can also see there's a part on the screen where um, I normally have like a therapy session on Wednesdays, but it was canceled because my therapist was out of town that day. Um... So yeah, you can see, you can see some changes that I've made here and I'm not, you know, ashamed of that. I think that a planner needs to be flexible enough to change with you. And it also needs to, at least for me, for right now, my planner needs to provide enough structure that I can keep track of these things. Um, and that I can spend a little bit more time on decoration without feeling like I have to spend so much time setting up the functional aspects of it. Um, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I found a sticker to cover up the whiteout um, that I had used for that appointment. point I wanted to do some lettering and I couldn't find that original red I was using but this red that I found matches that uh, happy new year kind of the, the rabbit sticker and I chose this rabbit sticker specifically because first of all it was the only like person sticker that I had that had the amount of red to match this red in it but also it is the year of the rabbit and uh, the in Chinese astrology, I should, sorry, in Chinese astrology, it is the year of the rabbit. And I am not Chinese, uh, nor is it actually the Chinese New Year right now, but I just thought that was a nice little tie-in. So I put it in here.
another thing to know about me right now is that I am obsessed with tea at the moment. And I haven't used this adorable Moon Gaiwan washi tape much yet, but I am looking forward to using it more in the future. part of the video where I am just trying to figure out how to use my Galen leather um, folio. I have wanted one of these for years um, and so now was finally the Christmas that I got it. So I learned that I didn't like where the pens were sitting in there so I'm just moving on. But now I'm going to make a key at the beginning. Um, because I'm also starting a more rigorous uh, commonplace book um, practice in the new year. So instead of pasting in, you know, like a regular cover for this, I am just um, going to be uh, pasting in these stickers for color coding. And you'll see my process later. I think I, I do it on screen still, but essentially my color coding process is so that I can find things in my commonplace book easier based on what type of thing I am doing. So yeah, I am just in a couple minutes in this video, I'm going to start brainstorming the things that I want to color code in my notes. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna be brainstorming this in my traveler's notebook. So my traveler's notebook is going to be where I do the majority of my uh, commonplace booking um, and I will probably do a video later about my traveler's notebook setup and how that all works because that's probably going to be, you know, something that I carry with me a lot. So yeah, leading up to this uh, specific day that I was doing this, I've been thinking a lot about what I wanted to include. Um, and you can sort of see here on the screen, but essentially um, I'm just gonna have these all be in my commonplace book um, so that I can easily reference them later. So business ideas are kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, tarot, I am an avid tarotist, uh, tarot reader, tarot enthusiast. Uh, so there's a section for tarot here. Um, then I'm also going to have, um, I was debating if I wanted to have my fandom life sort of separated um, between the Magnus Archives, which is my recent uh, fandom brain rot, and Drary, which is my really old, old school fandom brain rot. Um, but yeah, I, there were other things that I needed to include here, uh, such as my, um, standalone fiction ideas, as well as um, maybe quotes and copy text. I can't remember exactly what I did. Um, maybe just miscellaneous, just general. And so as you can see here, I am pasting in my stickers. I'm really glad I got them on that particular roll too, because I am not going to run out. Like, I don't, I would have to commonplace obsessively and put everything in my little brain um, on paper to get that. Oh yeah, so like I never copy down quotes and text. And if I do, it'll be really obvious when I do that. There's something here that I, oh yeah, I remembered. Research notes. Yeah, that is definitely something that I will be using my commonplacing for. That is research notes that are not related to tarot business or my fiction idea. Moment of truth, assigning colors. The darkest color naturally goes to tarot and witchcraft.
right, so now I just need to write those in and I'll have a good, uh, a good reference um, in my Hobonichi. Um, and I am going to make that prettier um, in my traveler's notebook. I'll, you know, put the code essentially in like a little folder or something and put it back in the notebook um, so that I can reference that later. We'll see how this works out. I'm really excited. I haven't quite got my traveler's notebook down yet in terms of what I want to be in there. So we will see, we will see what that ends up being. But I, I think this is going to be a good system for me. the jazz that I've been playing in the background know that that is very much inspired by Rachel Stevens videos she is like the vlog queen in my opinion I love her vlogs I also love her chill bullet journaling videos she was able to do it for a full year um so yeah I have her to thank for that idea and now I'm just putting together everything in this uh, folio so the Coffee Monsters Co. Oh, I'm about to move those. Yeah, I'm going to move those on screen. But um, I'm going to be doing some mood tracking with the Coffee Monsters Co. stickers, where I just pick like an emoji, emoji that, um, you know, kind of encapsulates my mood for that day. I have some more emojis coming. I ordered some more stickers from her shop after she reopened. Um, but yeah, because I'm using them as mood trackers, I'm keeping them with me. And then the uh, book tags are for research purposes. And as you can see, I have the um, the stickers um, for color coding there. Okay. Whoa, wow, we're almost at the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching this far in the video. Um, I truly appreciate it. Uh, this is my third video, <laughs> um, so who knows where this channel is going, but if you are interested, if you are curious, if you have enjoyed this chill, you know, chatty plan with me, I'm sure there will be more of these coming in the future. Um, so yeah, just hit like on this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me a book emoji in a comment so I know the real one. Bye!